Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria, and this is Veritas Tarot. I'm going to do your daily mini reading for you. I'm using my, what are they? My uh, Oracle of the Seven Energies, uh, another new deck I have. Um, what I'm enjoying about doing these daily readings is it's giving me an opportunity uh, to, um, to, to uh, buy, to, to kind of look to see what cards, what new cards speak to me. And so this is one of these. So thank you. They're really, really, really beautiful cards. Uh, I will try and make sure I know that uh, I have had some comments about the light that I use uh, to try and make sure that you can see the images as they come out. Um, if this reading resonates, as you know, you are simply remembering what you need to know in divine timing. It is your soul remembering. Um, and if it doesn't resonate, my darling, it simply means it wasn't a reading for you at this time. There will always be a reading out there for you at exactly the right time as guided by spirit when it does resonate. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, all of the details are in the description box below. And uh, thank you as ever for all of your lovely comments and your likes and your subscribes. It's a beautiful experience exchange of energy between us. If you would like to make a donation, uh, the PayPal link is in uh, the description box below. And I've recently set up super thanks as well. So uh, if you would wish to do that, I again would be so grateful. Thank you, my darlings. Right. So let's move forward with the reading. And let's see what spirit has to say. Thank you, spirit. Just one card, please. Thank you. There we go. That wants to come out. Thank you, spirit. So what have we got? We've got bearing fruit. Oh, it's interesting. And we've got the oracle gift, the oracle's gift on the bottom of the deck, bearing fruit and the oracle's gift. So let's have a look and see. Let's have a look. So first of all, bearing fruit. This is a I'm just going to catch it so you can see. There we are bearing fruit. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have the oracle's gift. So that is really rather lovely. Um, Okay, so I'm going to talk, um, Spirit, am I going to do that? Yeah, I'm going to do the Oracle's gift first of all, but this is a really positive reading for those that will resonate with this reading, because with the two of these cards combined, it's showing that whatever you are doing at the moment, Spirit is saying you're on the right track, and whatever you are doing at the moment is um, bringing in um, positive results for you, things that you can see. Uh, and I'm going to talk about that word bearing fruit more in a second, because you know how I like to break down words and it just is there's lots of other lovely different meanings to that. Thank you, spirit. Um, and they will give those meanings to me as I talk to you. Um, but the Oracle's gift. Uh, sorry, I just need to move that out of the way. A gift, the Oracle, it means um, somebody or something. It's it's about receiving insight, receiving wise, insightful communication, either internally yourself or through another source, through another universal source. Um, and because it's this cup of tea here, I'm feeling that you are either receiving from somebody else who's very wise or somebody who has been sent forward to you as a messenger at this time or yourself, almost sort of because it's like the cup of tea, um, the tea leaves, isn't it? It's almost like those predictions about the future. And those predictions are being based on the energetic stance you are right now, the energetic space you are right now, because as you know, what you're thinking and saying and feeling and doing now, you're placing into your future. So um, these are, and also because it's a gift here with the Oracle, it's very obvious with the sort of tea leaves and everything. Um, <laughs> these are very obvious signs as well. So either something that you're resonating with or signs that you're seeing at this time. And, you know, the universe works in wonderful, mysterious ways. And uh, you are the universe. OK, so remember as well, first of all, you are co-creating these signs with the universe. It is your soul connected. And you have the tree here in the other card connected to all it is. You are the universe experiencing itself. So you are co-creating incidences. And uh, so when you see a sign that makes you laugh, that makes you go, God, that's weird. All of those, this is your universe. And that sign was for you to show you you're on the right track. It doesn't matter how weird or how wonderful or how mundane that sign is or whether you're seeing repetitive signs over and over again. Take note, take notice, because that is like a billboard for information for you. It's like in flashing lights to tell you something. If you're not sure, 
you know that this message was for you, but you're not sure. And there's a, um, one of my lovely dove pigeons has landed on my roof. Um, and they're, they're always my, my signs as well. If you're not sure what the message means, look it up. And whatever you feel guided to click on, that is the message that will resonate with you. So there is a beautiful sort of free fall of information always there ready available for you to pick up and collect but you just have to be aware that it's sort of free falling towards you i don't know why i'm using that word free falling but anyway so uh this is a reminder for you that you are connected and i go back to this tree this is a reminder for you that you are connected that you are when you're and you are in this space of being aware of who you are you're very tuned in you're very tapped on you may have, um, they've been quite funny, you may have stewed on things for a while, just like we 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 let tea stew for a while to make sure that, it, that it's perfect. Um, but the other thing about tea is that it shows, it, it's interesting tea, um, if you have been over worrying about things, if you have been overdoing things, uh, tea is a sort of, well, in England, you know, you sit and have a cup of tea when you're upset, you sit and have a cup of tea when you need to calm down. So spirit is saying if there is overdoing in certain areas of your life, take that break, have that cup of tea, have that pause in your life as well. Remember that success is not success uh, always about making um effort and action success is about allowing it's about receiving it's about the the beautiful combined balance which spirit's saying you do have of both spirituality and practicality and i'm also seeing in here that the number seven which talks about that as well and three is the wonderful sort of um mind body spirit it's the combination of how you are um you are it's something that is significant to you something that is completing for you at this time it is something that's solid and it's it's past present future it shows you the connection of where you are now the number three and three and seven combined is 10 and 10 is completion so there is a completion of sorts for you at this time and you it is bearing fruit so um, I'm sure for those that is resonating with, you know, you'll, you'll understand this. Spirit wants you with this oracle's gift as well to have faith in yourself, to trust in your intuition. You know, when we when we see a sign or we see something, we think it's something that's outside of ourselves. Remember, you are the universe. Have faith in yourself. Trust your intuition because your intuition is the universe's voice speaking gently through you or to you so please have faith in yourself at this time because there are various things that are happening for you that are bearing fruit and it is they're being very funny again with this this tea bag i want to show you do you see the tea bags being taken out of the tea so what this is saying to me this is again the perfect time this is the perfect blend of your spiritual insight your spiritual your approach and your practical approaches at this time you're on the right track that tea is is ready it's stewed it's ready to savor it's re ready to enjoy it's ready for you just to relax into that space and not do so much okay it's the perfect blend at this moment it's a very important time in your life and whatever you are thinking and saying and doing now be very aware of that um try and step out of the i part of yourself which is our identity and personality and try and step into living and breathing the great observance about where you are right now because this is a a, a really sort of pivotal moment it's almost like when you're going to get up from having that cup of tea the, you're like, going to feel so much better and think right this is what I'm going to do now and I understand this is why I'm going to do it so this is a pause time for you and you may be feeling a little frustrated now then we've got this wonderful card of bearing fruit so I come back to that bearing fruit it means that, that there are things that are beginning to show up for you. When we talk about bearing fruit, sometimes we talk about things yielding positive outcomes. The fruit yields fruit. Now, yield is obviously something that is, in, in fruit terms, is something that is produced, it is provided. But the word yield as well is about giving way and surrendering. So Spirit, with their wonderful sense of humor, is saying surrender 
to what is coming in for you. Yield to it. Uh, don't try and pull it in any faster. Don't push it away, uh, you know, by trying to pull it in faster. Surrender what is coming into you. Have that wonderful radical acceptance, just like we do about fruit growing on trees. We don't expect it to grow in the spring. We expect it to blossom in the spring and come into fruit in the summer. And then we harvest it in early autumn. So whatever is happening at the moment is bearing fruit. And it is whatever your 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 wherever your focus your your desires your action has been it is manifesting into something into some beautiful form in front of you so have a look now at what you have manifested into your life what is bearing fruit now the other thing about fruit trees in particular is in order to um Thank you, Spirit. In order to encourage the growth, like we encourage the growth of any plant, we, we don't sometimes let it just sort of grow any way which it wants to. We then look at it and feel that it hasn't been looked after. So there are sometimes certain branches that need to be pruned in order to encourage growth in a new growth in another direction. So if you look at the analogy of that, has there been areas of your life that have needed to be pruned and have been pruned in order for this extraordinary growth to happen? And this tree is very well rounded and it is growing uh, fruit all over beautifully. So it's talking about the balance again in your life. You're beautifully balanced in terms of where you are right now. And again, it is effortless. Remember, as I've talked before, um, everything in the nature happens spontaneously. It happens by itself. And I feel that you have done a great deal of allowing things to happen by itself. You have been focusing your energies the right way. You have been cutting out of your life things that just are not there for you, things that have stunted that growth. And it may have been physically or it may have been from the lack of attention that you're now giving it because you're coming to such a realization and understanding that you are connected to everything like this tree and young trees help old trees and there are nutrients and things being shared and everything is this beautiful universal experience and you are stepping into that awareness you have stepped into that observance that this is all connected and you're seeing the signs that the universe is giving you so pay attention to what you're giving your attention to at this time, which is, as I feel from this, is absolutely beautiful. And remember as well, I think there's something, and I'm, I'm Spirit has given me something now about, um, and I did study the Bible when I was younger. Um, I got an A actually in my A levels for it, um, but I haven't looked at it a long time, but there's something about um, God, the universe, the vine, um, and it's something about that the branch on its own. So all of this is happening as a reminder for you. That this is the universe's work through you. This is you being a spiritual, uh, having a spirit, having a human experience. But you are the essence of you is spirit. The essence of you is the universe source energy. And um, a branch on its own, going back to everything is connected, a branch on its own cannot bear fruit. It needs to be connected to I think in the in the Bible, it said the vine, but it needs to be connected. And let's talk about this tree. Those uh, branches cannot bear fruit unless they're connected to the tree. And so your what is happening at the moment through you is because of your consistency, because of your spiritual connection, because of your awareness, your self-awareness of who you are, because of the powerful stance. And this this is like a. I mean, this is not necessarily what you'd call a fruit tree, but this is a powerful oak tree. And an oak tree, its roots are deep as its branches are wide. And it is seen as a place of protection and, and power. So your connection at the moment is so powerful that it is encouraging those branches of your energy, of your expansion to branch far and wide and it is encouraging as well therefore a whole variety of other experiences let's call them wildlife a vast array of different type of wildlife take 
um, pleasure or protection in being within that oak tree space. And there is, uh, you know, the birth of new bird families and, you know, squirrels and owls and everything. So it is a central uh, source of energy for others. And I feel that this is something for you as well to consider. And the other thing about the fruit is that the more you prune it, it's a bit like a rose, isn't it? The more you prune it in one end of one season, the more it grows in another. So you may have felt in your life that quite a lot of things have been pruned away from you, but it has been to encourage the spiritual growth, your spiritual connection of where you are now. And it is allowed because one one fruit doesn't doesn't appear it means that if there's one fruit there there is plentiful fruit there is more fruit to come and it's it's sort of like the multiplying of itself so the oracle's gift is that because you have perceived what has happened to you as a necessary pruning a necessary changing of that energy energy energetic structure i talked about into a more expanded structure you are allowing now with your radical acceptance and appreciation of where you are right now for for this for you as this connected oak tree to bear fruit to well not necessarily to bear fruit but this tree like an oak tree to bear fruit to expand to widen your your a horizon um and it it's a very interesting thing and i and i go back to what i said before you're growing to meet your future and i think this is this is stunning um there is um butterflies in this card there are little stars on this card um and i what i want you to take away from this is that if you uh continue to trust in what you are seeing. You continue to trust in your insight, in your intuition. You continue to trust in your feelings about things. You continue to view things from a place of detached observation, understanding the gift, seeing through things, seeing the gift in everything at this time. Spirit is saying, everything that you are doing is the universe working through you it is god working through you and because you are connected what it is that you are creating you are manifesting you are desiring is bearing fruit in your life so that's an absolutely beautiful beautiful thought um i i i feel as well that you are in a state of harmony at this time and you may have some moments where you need that cup of tea but you are in a state a beautiful blend of harmony at this time so uh, go and have that cup of tea go and think about that um, and well done my darling for whoever this has resonated with so much love to you and i look forward to doing another reading for you tomorrow take care bye bye